And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our next meme tier Tuesday deck. We have Seabird is what we're calling this one because um, we are going to be on one of the seven seas with the Siren and Misfortune on the ship and with Nivea helping us out. So the, the theory behind this deck is have the Siren in play, um, you know, that says while I'm attacking all of your spells and skill do it deal an extra point of damage and pair that with obviously with misfortune which is going to be very good um but then also with anivia so you know we have like anivia and misfortune that both have like these attack triggers that do one to the enemies and the enemy nexus um this is the battling enemies and the enemy nexus combine both of those together with the siren um and uh yeah kind of wipe out their all their stuff um so we're going with like a, a kind of like a curve out deck um uh kind of change this one up a little bit it started as a control deck but we're going to kind of go as a curve out deck to make like that that damage from these things really matter but we're just playing just pretty good spells all across the curve um you know starting with omen hawk you know sentry for a little bit of card draw but then we, we want to have Vulnerable and Scouts. And so like Hired Gun with the Vulnerable helps because then you can challenge different things with Misfortune or you can challenge things into Misfortune's uh, battling ability. So that helps. But then also Scouts because you want extra attacks with Misfortune. So we got Three Island Navigators, a Razor Skill Hunter, and then of course the Sirens have Scout also. So we can try to get those extra attack steps for Misfortune to level up Misfortune. Um, and then, you know, like these Freljord cards are just great. Like we have Fury of the North is just a wonderful uh, combat spell and just really, really efficient. And then the same thing with the uh, Frostbite cards. If we're going to be in combat a lot and attacking a lot, um, Frostbite is awesome. They're trying to block. We have Harsh Winds. We got three Brittle Steel. We also have Elixir of Irons to help protect our things. Um, so it looks to be a pretty good, efficient deck, and we're going to be winning with our uh, birds on the sea and hopefully Anivia doesn't freeze over the sea <laughs> and stop our siren. Hopefully not. All right, Seabird. We're gonna go play five games just over in normal with our meme tier deck. <laughs> so yeah, so we should get patch notes uh, in about 30 minutes if, if there's a patch update. Um, and then, yeah, it'll be live tomorrow. I'm not sure if it will be a balanced patch or if it'll just be like a patch just to kind of fix bugs and stuff like that. Um, but if it's a balanced patch, you know, we'll find out about that. And then, if it is, then it'll be live tomorrow. That happens sometimes, those are just connection issues. Anytime that happens, they give you the XP like you won, which is nice, but didn't actually play. But it's not like like it's not like the opponent conceded, because like how it goes that fast, you don't have time to get into the game and quit concede before that happens. It's not like the opponent conceded. Yeah, and so we do know now, we do know that the next set that's going to be released will be on August 26th, not August 19th. It'll, it will be the 26th. Um, that was announced today from somewhere, I don't know, people were saying that in the Discord channel today. Be nothing left when I'm done. So, when you're playing Dreadway Deckhand like that, you should let the opponent attack first, and then afterwards play the Deckhand. So we get the Trapper down at first to get the Enraged Yeti out there. Draw it as early as possible. Fortunately, the Powder Monkey does a great job of playing defense. 
All right, well, I'm gonna be taking a point of damage this turn anyway. What did you catch? Safeguard our homes. That's right, some great defense of this powder. This powder monkey looking good. Just gonna let this die and draw a card instead of using Elixir of Iron. We'll save Elixir of Iron. Yeah, that was a good turn for them. Triple spelling. I mean, I had a good turn double spelling. Then even better one. Perfect. The perfect make it rain. Let's see, if I just attack out, take nine. Here in your time of need. Mm, I'll play this thing. All right, GG's. Because that was going to allow me to, like, the if they block the five power the with their seven, seven, then the Anivia would have dealt another damage to it, so it would have one health left, and then my Maker Rain was going to be able to kill it. Okay. Good start. We'll... S like... Like, this is the discard version. Like, Make It Rain could be pretty good here. Oh, our, our last opponent was the Flash. Probably has, yeah, got, probably has some downtime also. Between, you know, saving the world. be a 4-8 scout. That's going to be pretty nice. Um, it's just, what do I want to do here? Did they just attack me and I just didn't block? Why didn't I block? I should have blocked. Probably should have blocked. Good coral creatures. So our next unit's gonna have plus two, plus two from these o omen hawks. Okay, could have been better. But not too bad. Well. Probably the, the worst card to draw with the Omen Hawk plus two plus two. For now, but who knows? Maybe that will help save us later in the game. This 
gonna be kind of crazy. A five nine siren and a four eight siren. Fortune. Darn, that was the worst case scenario for me. And that was a good card to draw though. All right, come on, draw units. Cost five or less. Yay. That one works pretty well. Alright, hopefully kill the three ones. Okay, kill two two ones. Life total's a little low. And we're getting some decent value, but our life total's low. They got a Twisted Fate. Um, we're gonna need Double Siren to show up pretty big these next two turns, which it can. Which it certainly can. We'll play one Siren on their turn. We can play the other Siren on our, on our turn. We get two attacks with both of them. Double Misfortune triggers. They both draw us Make It Rains if we have Misfortune still in play. We have two Make It Rains. Um, we'll be able to cast as well. I'm not as confident in Misfortune staying alive now that I use the Elixir of Iron there, but that's good that, you know, because I'm expecting Devour the Deaths, right? Like, we're certainly expecting that card. Hey, nice. Kaba says it's so cool to see a Siren deck. It is cool to play a Siren deck. Siren's a cool card. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. Yeah, that that was Yep, yeah, that was our worst card to draw was Misfortune because we would be drawing Misfortune anyway, correct? Trim the mainsail and raise anchor. So it looks like That's what I was going to say, is it looks like the Twisted Fate will be killing my misfortune. I'm glad they cast that Jettison and not save that for the next turn. For stunning the next turn.
serious. You're prettier when you smile. It's a difficult turn, honestly. I gotta hope they don't have Devour Depths for some some reason. Because Devour Depths should just be zero mana. Something for all of you. Maybe I should have played the trap or I should have gone to combat. Oh my gosh, we get to go to combat. Well, that's good. They shouldn't be blocking the Siren, because if they're going to play something, which it looks like they're going to play something, then they would get Gold Card, which would stun this. Darn, they figured that out. Okay, so this is only going to do one damage, because this won't be attacking, so I'll only do one. I'm going to put him to six. Um... Both these coral creatures have been amazing for my opponents. They they have been pretty perfect. I'm just casting that right now while it's doing two damage. Dead in their traps. While the siren's attacking. Because also we want to put the misfortune back into our deck, right? Like we don't have another misfortune into our deck, so we want to want to put it back so that whenever we play the siren we'll draw misfortune again yeah they had that all right came close leveled up twisted fate just too good Came close though. And a great hand with that deck. GG's. All right, playing normal deep. Hey, big Alfredo. Normal deep deck. Still gonna mulligan the expensive things. I mean, I like that we're playing a siren deck, but do we have to have two sirens right away all the time? That was another big problem with that the last game, you know, it's like we had the Omen Hawks and the cards we got with Omen Hawk were Uh, you know, the cards that, that we got the bonuses on Omen Hawk were the Sirens, and it's just like that's not a valuable card to get on the bonus at all. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Good. Uh, yeah, we think that the patch notes for 1 7 will be today. We think. We'll see. If, if it's the case, it should be out in around 12 minutes or so, like at the, at the top of the hour. Likely. That's risky. We'll go over here. Fresh out of mercy. 
Because if they have, if they just play like Glimpse Beyond and kill their own thing, that'd be risky. We need to draw things in the middle. Not things that cost one mana or seven mana. Let's draw some things in the middle. Something in the middle. Love ya. Didn't cost one mana or seven mana. Was there anything to play? Yeah, there we go. Four, six, Nivia. So we're going to protect Misfortune here, and then <clears throat> Brittle Steel here. Let it die, so I have two mana still for... Make it rain next turn. So maybe that's the answer. All right, so this is what our deck's supposed to do. We're we're hopefully about to do what our deck's supposed to do with the siren. Trim the mainsail and raise anchor. Uh, you know, siren and all these attack triggers. Um. No. Well, it would have done what we were supposed to do. The opponent wasn't so mean. I mean, make it, make it rain isn't doing two damage right now. It's only whenever Siren's attacking, so I can't I can't stop this from happening. Um. I have to have the Siren attacking. So that, those will just trade. Oh man. Never mind. Uh, these deep decks are pretty good. Hit Maokai. Okay, at least we hit Maokai and Thresh. Two cards we need to hit. Kill both of those. So that was pretty cool. 
If only they didn't have Devour the Depths take out my Misfortune also. decks are good. Alright, one and two. Let's try to not get paired against deep. Or at least, you know, not get paired against deep decks that have great hands like that. When they have their, their great hands and are able to go deep super fast, it's really hard to beat them. The thing about deep decks, it's like, like that kind of deep deck in particular, it's like when you don't have like dredgers on turn one and like how do you or you know like like the dredgers and jettison and stuff like that like how do you win like that's that's like the main question and i think thresh kind of helps thresh can help out like that that was a really nice thresh challenging the misfortune making me use my elixir of iron um, garen ash Some earlier stuff. I'm gonna keep this navigator to go along with the misfortune. Okay, elixir of iron's good. Hey, Cordek. I know, right? No double siren. I guess that that's also hurt us against these deep decks. They just had double siren early. Oh no, cat and jetpack. You had to say something. <laughs> well, there's one siren. That's why I didn't block with the omen hawk, is because I wanted just in case like we couldn't really attack with misfortune. I wanted to be able to attack with. Uh, the Omen Hawk. Which obviously I could have attacked with Misfortune and used Elixir of Iron, but I didn't want to just use Elixir of Iron when we didn't need to yet. Every way is a path. On the trail. <laughs> Who will do not doubt? Okay. Should have one mana five fives showing up here pretty soon. My heart and sword for Demosic. So next turn is turn six. Okay. So I can't play Siren next turn anyway. I want to try to kill some of these things. But of course, I don't want to give Garen the opportunity to strike. So misfortunes at three out of four. Not and ready. Break their ranks. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Let's 
And make Misfortune a 7-7? Seven, seven? It's kind of risky, right? Maybe I just harsh winds. Don't get ahead of yourself. All right, so even if they have Repost or Fury, I'll still have Elixir. Cool. I'm really glad that that worked out. Well, the one problem with doing that is I only have only have one elixir of iron. I can play this turn now. I don't get to you know do anything else, which I could really play Fury anyway. Oh yeah, because this is gonna do. This is gonna be doing. Oh yeah, two two damage three times. Yes, I should have attacked with the two four also. I was just thinking that you know it's gonna be doing three. I, I forgot about the whole point of our deck, the the double up the siren. Yes, I should have attacked with Island Navigator too. <laughs> uh, so no, it does not look like the patch notes are out yet. They're usually like fifteen minutes late anyway. So we'll we'll see what they do. Yeah, y'all are right, I should attack that too. My bad. Alright, we got leveled up misfortune and a siren. Probably unnecessary to attack with misfortune. Even though, even if it dies, we have another misfortune in hand. So maybe it's not, like maybe we could just attack with misfortune. All right, glad we didn't attack with misfortune. That is, uh, yeah, glad I didn't attack with misfortune. True. All right, now we just gotta attack one more time. Demacia, now and forever. And forever. I don't, they have three mana. I think we're fine. And now, love, Misfortune is leveled up, so I don't have to be as worried about Misfortune dying. Alright. All right, GG's. So all we have to do is just go straight to combat. All right, pick up a win for Seabird. GG's. All right, we're two and two. No. All right, time for us to get revenge. We need a good curve. Not a good curve so far. Not a good curve. Man, what an ugly hand. Okay. Well, 
that'll help, I suppose. Could be pretty decent against, um, like, Nautilus in the late game if we can, like, survive and get there and all that kind of stuff. Harsh Winds could help. I have the attack token on even turns, which is kind of awkward with these things. Time to make some coin. So it's perfect for Maokai for them to have the attack token on the odd turns. And so obviously they're going to have Maokai. Yeah. Alright, so our next card is Enraged Yeti. They're so small, but she ain't lacking courage. Got brittle steel. Build your own harsh winds. Build your own harsh winds. Hunter doesn't die to grasp. So good thing this is a scout attack, so we can just do that scout attack, and then afterwards now we can play Trapper and Enrage Yeti and be able to have another attack again. So patch notes are out. Cool, cool. We'll we'll read through them right after this game because you know, like we'll uh, read through them here. But yeah, it does not look like no card changes, which I'm not not surprised about that. Patience. So yeah, we'll read those threw those together after this. What did we catch? Okay. Don't stand in my way. Alright, attacking with everything they get one oh, I was gonna say the beast blow could get one good block on one of these things, but looks like withering, I guess they want what they want withering whale kill all those deck building deck builder changes is really good that is something that they've needed to do for a long time that they've said they've been working on for a long time so yeah I'm real interested about that Deck builder has been a, may, like like the one like maybe the only like weak point of this game is the deck builder. These aisles will be cleansed. Sure they will. So the main question now will be straight to attacks or play Misfortune first. Yeah, they are just really trying to 
set up Withering Whale. Which this does make you know if they just do if they just do that that does make you know don't really want to play anything pre combo. I guess we just go straight to straight to attacks. I do this, the Withering Whale kills all three of those things in the middle. I don't get any more attacks. I just don't have any good options. Like, what are, what are my other options? Like, just attack here. Then they can play a unit that gives them the 2-1 to block, and then they can still play Withering Whale. Um, I just don't have good options. I just hope they don't have Withering Whale, I guess. Did a great job setting it up, and I, you know, I couldn't really play anything else. Hey, Blubsters. They played it very well. Ouch. Right, levels up, Maokai. something to keep misfortune alive attack have misfortune do damage or just you know with attacking do damage and then uh, riptide rex what's that noise and so life maybe Doubtful to work, but we can try. So we'll just cast the harsh winds. Yes, yeah, so that's that's the plan. Tizzle scout attack, misfortune, deal damage, and then drop Rex, and then attack again. That's the plan. Not very likely that plan will work. Definitely won't work now. Devour the Depths has just been wrecking... Like, all three of our losses, Devour the Depths has just been wrecking us. Just exiling our misfortunes over and over. Maybe they take three. Take it. Take it. Take it. You have to get me out of here. Darn. Light the signal fires. Right, 
Alright, so unfortunately I cannot... I don't have the mana for Mega Rain and Riptide Rex, so... I guess we wait till next turn. That does give them the sapling. Ouch. I dealt the one damage to them. That that's good. Um, but didn't didn't kill the abyssal eye. Okay. I kill Maokai also. We got we got one card left, and we know it's not a champion. In the patch notes, do they say they're fixing this animation? Not be so incredibly loud and slow. I hope so. It's the worst part about Riptide. It's like almost like I don't want to play Riptide Rex because of the animation. We'll see who feasts tonight. No. Okay. Nope. No. No update to Rex in the patch notes. Maybe they take it. Darn. Alright, so... When 0-3 against deep, 2-0 against non-deep. Deep decks are just pretty good against some mid-range things. Um... Uh, yeah, we didn't we didn't really draw Anivia very much. We drew tons of sirens. We drew a si bunch of sirens every game. Didn't really draw Anivia. We drew it like like one time. Um, you know, didn't didn't do a great job of curving out a lot of the time. Also, but um, I don't think like the deep matchups unwinnable. I think our opponents did did very good every single deep hand, and us not really so much. Like they. Every single game, they were deep on turn six or turn seven, and uh, you know, like that's that's kind of a killer. And that's that doesn't always happen with deep decks. You know, we've played it, played those two. Like that's not something that always happens, but it did always happen for them. All right. So um, anyway, there is our Seabird deck. Uh, get Siren with the extra damage with Anivia and Misfortune. Unfortunately, you know, we didn't really get to do that that cool combo of like Siren and Anivia. I was hoping we get to do that more, but uh, didn't didn't work out. You know, it's not games don't always work out. Um, it's still pretty good. You know, against non deep, we looked quite strong. We just unfortunately played against deep a whole lot. All right, but anyway, those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Seabird, and I'll see you for the next video.